Welcome back to Cut Above Tarot. Hey, how y'all doing? I want to do a same sign relationship readings. Okay, so we're going to start with Aquarius since it's Aquarius season, if you don't mind. All right, and this is um, what I'm going to call a beta. This is a beta test. So y'all let me know if you like the same sign. Uh, um, so this is Aquarius dealing with an Aquarian. Okay, relationship read. Aquarius dealing with another Aquarius. Whether it be in love, business, Friendship, family ship, family, family, oh, what you call it? No, we just don't call it family ship. Okay. All right, let's see. Temperance. All right, they said, yeah. Look like you either a calm person or you have to stay calm around this person or maybe you're trying to teach another Aquarian how to be calm. Okay. All right. It also could be that there's an Aquarian trying to teach, uh, help another Aquarian heal. All right. Maybe teaching them how to handle their money. And it, and it caused him to have this tower moment as well. I'm going to read Temperance because I'm using, um, what is this, Sun and Moon Tarot. So we got two major arcanas. We got the Temperance and a tower. This is a, a, an event that cannot be altered. This is something that's out of your hands, out of your control. Uh, so all you can do is go with the flow with it, so to speak. Okay. Right, here we go. Temperance link with Sagittarius. Associated with integration, synthesis, and synergy through the creative process, it is important to reconcile paradoxes. All right, so maybe, uh, yeah, so there was two Aquarians that fell out. All right, and now you need to reconcile. Come on. Conflicts. They say, for someone who is not even tempered, the ability to react calmly seems magical. Okay, this energy brings us beyond our duality to a calm approach to life by avoiding extremes. Okay, temperance reveals the middle path described in Buddhism. The black and white elements of this card reveals the light and dark dual of nature within us. The black and white cups represent properties of the sun, fire, and moon, water. Like an alchemist, the angel mixes opposing elements of life with one foot in the water, emotions, and the other on land, actions, fire, and water are brought together to steam, signifying creative power and integration of opposites. Okay, so maybe this is a... Uh, a young Aquarian and a, and a mature Aquarian. And then it could be two Aquarians around the same age. However, they just grew up in different environments. Mm -hmm. and, it, and, and it brought a tower. A tower because y'all fell out. Yeah, you did. You fell out. Okay. So, let's see what else we got going on with that. All right. All right, so can you give me more information about the two Aquarians? All right, the Princess of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Oh, my goodness. Princess, Prince of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Well, somebody felt like they were backstabbed, mistreated, taken advantage of, lied to, uh, made to believe something. Pardon me, grandbaby. Made to believe something that wasn't true or gave a half-truth to. 
okay beguiled in some shape form or fashion all right so let's see so let's see what this prince of wands did this prince of wands said air of fire a sense of adventure a rigorous approach of life oh even before i finished reading it okay somebody decided to take a trip okay without the other person but anyway i'm gonna keep going Helpful and assured. The phoenix wand signifies transformation and spiritual growth. The target symbolizes attention, focus, and concentration. The line encouraged, inspired creativity. Okay. So first of all, what I got, what I got spiritually, so in my mind, in my spirit, was that somebody decided to take a trip without the other person. Okay, and they felt like they were done wrong. Maybe somebody said that the, that they had to work, and or, or they changed their mind, they wouldn't go, and then they turned around and did a whammy and went ahead on took this trip anyway. It might have been a field trip, might have been uh, some, uh, it might have even been a visit to uh, somebody's uh, uh, family house or something like that. They went anyway, but they went only by themselves. But this card is also saying. This prince of ours says that uh, the phoenix wand signifies transformation and spiritual growth. So, whoever this person is that, that did the dirty deed, uh, or the one that keep falling out and having all these fits and stuff, this person needs to grow up. I mean, I'm just the bottom line there. But it means that, yeah, they need a transformation and the spiritual growth. Okay? So... One of the Aquarians or both of the Aquarians, but somebody needs uh, to do a transformation in this relationship. Okay, who knows? One may need to transform her form and the other person needs to just uh, uh, get some spiritual growth. So, who knows? And there might be one that's already have already went through all of that and they're trying to bring the other one up. And this other one is still doing stuff in a low vibration. Princess of Cup. Now you got the princess. The princess of Cup. And that's speaking about your intuition. Okay, and your emotions. Let's see. The princess of Cup says dreamy ideas and romantic fantasies, psychological development and perceptions, rising above jealousy, manipulation, possession, and seduction. Okay, so. So we started at the beginning. So the beginning of this relationship, that's how it was. Okay? In the middle of this relationship, this is what it is now, where you had where there's been some spiritual transformation and also some I mean some transformation as the spiritual growth. Okay. And now we're at the place now in this relationship, Aquarian, Aquarius, that uh Okay, dreamy ideas and romantic fantasies, psychological developments and perception, rising above jealousy and manipulation, rising above possession and seduction. The turtle symbolizes truth. Okay, that's truth coming in now. Okay, so y'all, y'all, somebody let the line go. Let the line go. Somebody decide to raise up, raise up, come up. The lotus means spiritual awareness. The dolphin denotes power and clairvoyance and embodies a free spirit. Oh, my goodness. This sounds like uh, y'all are a walking power couple, you know, in the spiritual. Okay, nobody put nothing past y'all now. But from at the beginning, you know, of the past, the past says that when he started off, woo, baby, y'all was having arguments and disagreements and stuff. Y'all was having... T Tower mamas, or uh, one of y'all had to have patience because the other person didn't have the patience. Somebody had to stay calm. Mm -hmm. All right. Then there was a bunch of lying and stuff going on, and one of one of y'all was going one place and leaving the other one behind, and, and all kind of foolishness like that. And now y'all just y'all just one or both y'all just upgraded and upgraded spiritually, spiritually. Okay. Okay, got the pit press of pentacles and the, and the star card that came out. All right, so this prince of pentacles says, well, uh, there is a, a message coming up and coming to you in money. Uh, you got some money coming to you, but it's coming kind of slow, but we're going to read it because this is a different book. Okay, it says success in business. Praise the Lord. Look at that. So you got some success coming to you in business. 
uh, and business responsibility. They say you're trying out new things in a, and in an orderly way. It says that you are resolving issues to reach your goals. Congratulations. Okay. It says, uh, yeah, you're exploring new directions. Okay, Aquarius. Okay, and you got the star card. Now, the star card means what? So it looks like this has already been set in place, okay? So you're not going to be, you can't change this, all right? Just letting you know. Yeah, like it's a done deal, so to speak, yeah, just like you thought. <laughs> all right. Okay. And this is your card, Aquarius, the star card. Linked with Aquarius, associated with self-confidence and recognition. After the storm comes peace, and after the darkness comes light. And that's so far what has happened in your relationship, Aquarius, with another Aquarius. Okay? It says, uh, The star card encourages us to have hope, optimism, faith, and divine intuition, and trust in our inner God. It offers the gift of premonition. This star is painted as a three-dimensional star tetrahedron or the Merkaba, vehicle of light. The star is the light that guides the way. The pyramids have an astrological connection to the star Sirius. Okay. The mermaid water bearer introduces the holistic new perceptions of life and age of Aquarius. The flowing of... Water from the ancient pictures give wisdom of life to the world and activates the subconscious. Two fish suggest the sign of Pisces signifying oppositions and developments. Okay. Okay. And the fish, the fish hook represents morality. Wow, all of that under the star? I don't see the fish yet, but okay. If y'all see it's there, it's there. All right, tripping. All right, tripping. All right, Pisces. I mean, all right, Aquarius. All right, this was a short uh, video on Aquarius versus Aquarius. Now, let me see if I can get you some love oracles over here. All right. Are there any love oracles for Aquarius? That are in a relationship with another Aquarius? Do you have any love oracles for Aquarius? You got uh, the codependency card. Okay. It says... Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. There may be an Aquarian that uh, needs to probably tone down some of the things that they do in excess. You know? And this one says, worth waiting for Aquarian. It says, divine time is at work in your love life. Okay? So... I really didn't want to say this, but I say it because it dropped in my spirit. Um, maybe, and this is not for all the Aquarians, maybe uh, you're going, this is like a stepping stone pertaining to a relationship for you. All right. This may be where you actually getting a lot of learning and some experience prior to the next one. And I'm telling you this because I've learned this myself. You may go through five or six different relationships and you find out in each one of them that there was something that wasn't right, okay? But all of those relationships take you to the place where you'll be able to make a definitive uh, a decision when the time is right on what kind of relationship you want, what kind of man or woman that you desire to have in your life. When you get to manifesting, you'll be able to manifest exactly what you want. With no ifs, ands, and buts about it, and there won't be no problems. You won't even waver in your thoughts because you know what you like or what you want. You know what it is not to be loved, okay? So you know what it feels. You know what it feels like when you are loved. You know what it's like to have somebody in your life that was wavery, opposed to somebody that's going to be able to make a sound decision. 
All right. I look forward to seeing you again in another video. All right, Aquarius, I really do look forward for you to give me some feedback on this on this video. All right. And tell me what you think. So when y'all see, I don't put a lot of videos of us. All the videos out of, of all the zodiac signs. That's because I'm waiting to get some feedback from y'all, so I know really not to continue with those videos. Okay, all right. See you again on the cut above tarot.